Sneakerheads around the world have been debating which Travis Scott low is the best from the set. I think I know how I feel about these, but I wanted to see what you think too. So I posted a poll here on YouTube so you could vote on it as well. And we had almost 40,000 people that voted. Last time I reached out to other YouTubers to see what their opinions were, this time we're gonna hit the streets. If you could only pick one of these shoes for your collection, which would it be? For sure these. Number one. Number one. I've Ooh. actually been posting about them on my Instagram. Okay. Even though some of them came moldy, I'm gonna let it slide because they are fly, 100%. I respect the answer. Now I know it's fun seeing people's favorite shoe, but we gotta see how they rank them as well. I need you to rank these best to worst in your opinion. Best to worst, all right. Gonna do the OG first. You can first. move them around, you can OG, move them around. OG's number one, Okay. of course. Reverse Mocha number two, just that neutral colorway. Okay. And the black, because I have these. And then my least favorite, I hate the fragment and I'll stand by that till the day I die. Okay, so we're going OG, reverse, black phantom, Fragment, yeah, in that order. In that order. Okay, I like it. I ain't mad at it. All right, if you could pick only one of these shoes for your collection, which one would it be? What, and then you buy for me? No. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, tough. Just, just trying to figure out. We're just trying to go through rankings right here. Uh, honest, I know these were nice, but I'm gonna have to rock with those just because. The reverse mocha? Huh? This yeah, one? Yeah, have to rock with those. Honest, kind of big though, no? What's my size? Oh, yes. I'm a size 13, you know what oh, I'm saying? This all yours? Yeah, these are all mine. Oh, damn, all right. <laughs> now, you know we couldn't go throughout this video without having my dad's opinion, and you guys wanted my wife on the channel, so I put both of them together to have them hash it out. <laughs> Let's just see what they say. One. Uh-huh. Two. Three. And four. That's how I'm ranking them. Mm. How are you ranking them? Pretty good, pretty good. No. <laughs> No, I would, this would be number one. This would be number two. This would be number three, and that would be four. So you guys are on the same page for number for, two. And number four. Yeah. Number two and four? Yeah. Two and four. Okay, so put those in order and then figure out what one and, one and three is. This, this is you. So we disagreed on one. You said one here. Yeah. I said three here. But we both said this was two, and yeah. we both said that's four. So. Um, you can't do it because it's the wrong right, numbers. Right, right, all right. So, so you can't switch this to switch. Wait, okay, switch, question. Because you would be there to hear. This is how you had it. What makes this one better than this one? Colors. Easier to wear, easier to what keep clean. What color is this? Too many colors. What color is it? <laughs> so, you guys probably don't know this, but he's colorblind. So <laughs> I don't know if he's really a, a good uh, okay, encouragement for that. So this is blue to me? Yeah, it's blue. That's a cream, this is white, that's black. Okay, you got it. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. For the colors to me, this is gonna be easier to wear. This is gonna be second easiest to wear. Then you have to try to fix outfits for these. You could almost wear any outfit with those two. So which means these make them harder to wear. I get what you're saying. But to me, because this has black, white, and cream, it can go with almost anything and it can spice it up a little bit with more. With the because, blue? Yeah, because you got the blue in there and spice it up what a little you, bit. No! Yes! Who does uh, these things? This is, it's just a black shoe. If it wasn't- It's not just a black shoe! If it wasn't Travis Scott, it would not this? be popular. It wouldn't. I bet this, I bet this. Look at the all black Air Force Ones. Who wears those? Oh, the old man! So look. Hey, you don't wear them all. <laughs> Look, everybody wear all whites and all black Air all Force whites. Ones. They wear all whites, so do not wear But what I'm whites. saying is with this right here to be up to, even if I'm saying if you change this to a Air Force, it would still sell. Look how long it's been selling. Think about that. People that wear Air Force Ones that are all, the all black ones. Are over 40. Or they're just up to no good. <laughs> or they bang it. <laughs> All right, they're taking forever. Let's see what some of the people out in the wild still have to say. Out of these four shoes right here, what colorway is your favorite? This one. Reverse mocha. Yeah. I like it, I like it. We're seeing a good trend in that shoe right now. I need you to rank these from best to worst in your opinion. In my opinion? Okay. Yep. Well, and you can move them around here. We're gonna go for, uh, oh, we're moving yeah. around. All right, cool. So we're gonna go one to four here. So one, 
I personally just love the fragments. I think the cream on it is so nice. Okay. And the blue hint is perfect. So this is number one. This is number one. Okay. Reverse mocha is number two. Okay. Normal mocha is number three. Phantom's number four. Interesting. I know you're giving me an L right now, but that's not an L. This is just how I like to rock shoes. I like bright colors. Um, but also like the way that Nike's doing the cream and like the faded vintage on all the midsoles, mm -hmm. I very much like. So okay. it's gonna be my one to four right here. Well, this is his top four right here in order. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Out of these four colorways, which one do you think is the best? Uh, if I'm being completely honest, I would I would probably wear the mochas the most. Okay. We're rocking with the reverse mochas. Hey, just a quick reminder, at the end of the video, we're gonna be showing all the poll results based off of the 40,000 people that voted. And I'm gonna show you guys my rankings because it's a little bit different than how everybody else voted. I need you to rank these four shoes from best to worst in your opinion. Okay, well, first of all, I like all of them. Yes. So these are my one of my favorite shoes, so all of them. So one is gonna be reverse mocha. Okay, well, where do you want to put that one? This side or that side? This is, this is best? Yeah, we can move them around. Okay, so this is the best. Okay. Then I'd go, then I'd go mocha. Okay, so number two. two. So the browns are one and two. I do like these. We haven't had that much time with these yet, yeah. you know? Yeah. So we don't know like a year from now if we're gonna love it like we do. I might go three, four, yeah. So I, I do love the Phantoms, mm -hmm. but I'd put them in last, just okay. behind these So ones. we got Reverse, OG, Fragment, and the Black Phantoms. Phantoms. Yep. Okay, yeah. I like that order. Out of these four colorways, which shoe do you like the most? This one, by far. The OG? Yes. I like that. Yeah. I, I respect. <laughs> yeah, I just, I feel like this is a little bit basic. I do okay, like Okay, so this is your order. This is your texture. order here? That's one, two? No, one. Wait. Two, three, four. You put this as what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are you this sure? This is my one. If you could only pick one of these sneakers as your favorite shoe, which one would it be? Damn. Um, probably the Travis. Reverse mochas. Interesting. Out of these four shoes right here, which pair do you like the most? I'd probably choose these. The reverse mochas. I'm starting to see that. The younger generation, they really like the reverse mochas. I'm interested to see what you guys think down below in the comment section. And at the end of the video, when we see these poll results, whew, you guys just might be surprised. Meanwhile. 1500 for this? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> no. So, wait, how much is this one? But this went out longer. Like 13, 12. 13, 12, okay. So but that's because that's because they've been sitting longer, so they create more value over time. This just started. So it's gonna create more value over time. This shoe is just not that It's not special. popping? It's not that special. So out of these four Travis Scotch, which pair do you like the most? Um, I'm gonna have to say these ones. The reverse mocha. Out of these four, which one is your favorite colorway? Uh, I gotta go with the black, white, and blue. Ooh, the fragments. I like it. I like, I like that little it. mismatch on the white too. It's kind of nice. Definitely a good looking shoe. So based off all the interviews, we definitely had a big mixture of shoes, but we saw a commonality through some of the top ranked shoes, but the poll results might just be a little bit different than what the people said in person. So like I said earlier, I posted a poll on my YouTube community tab. If you're subscribed to the channel, you will see it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hopefully you do subscribe after this video and participate in the polls in the future. But basically, I wanted to see what people rank these shoes as best to worst, and we went off of percentages based off of that. So let's start with the worst shoe first, and that is the Black Phantom Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low. Now these came in with 18% of the vote, and I'm not really surprised by that simply because I know it's a newer release and some people like the other ones more and they got a little bit more history and time with loving the shoe and they, they say it's a little bit cheaper so because of the price that causes people not to like it as much too and say it's not as hyped or whatever. There's a lot of different reasons. Me personally, I can say this was not last on my list. I'll get into that in a bit. But this came in at fourth place with 18% of the vote. Now just barely passing that up with 19% of the votes, this is actually a shocker to me. We had the OG Mocha Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low. To me, this shoe is extremely fire and I think it should easily be in the top two. But to see this one in third place kind of blows my mind. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. These are just based off of poll results, what everybody else said. I get it, I understand there's different hypes and demands behind different shoes and stuff, but in my head, 
low key number one but again we'll talk about it in a second when i show you my top four yeah i'm just i'm really shocked by this one now coming in third place with 28 percent of the votes Ah, I don't know why this one's in third place. I get it. No, I do know why. I know. I get it. I get it. The Reverse Mocha Travis Scott Air Jordan 1. Some people say this is the best one and it's the top on their list. Ah, I don't know. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's a cool shoe. I get it. But at the same time, like... There's no way these are beating the OGs. But that is one thing that I love about sneakers. We can all have our opinions and we get to buy what we like. At the end of the day, these polls are just to kind of give you a scale of what other people like. And, and at the end of the day, yes, it doesn't matter. I understand that too. But it's always fun to have the conversation and rank the shoes and talk about it and different things like that because that's just what us sneakerheads do. So with all that being said, we know what the first place shoe is. The Travis Fragment Air Jordan 1 Low. I think this one in particular definitely did have a lot more hype behind it when it came out compared to the OG. I understand that. And there was a lot of people going after this shoe. And probably because of the demand of this shoe in particular caused a lot of people to like the reverse mochas in particular because of that. But again, there's a lot of other factors and understanding that this is another collaboration, like a double collaboration with Jordan Brand, having Travis Scott and Fragment both on these. And the Fragment Air Jordan 1 itself is a very, very expensive model, going for around four to five thousand dollars. And I understand why why people wanted to get their hands on these because again you got the double collab now let's take it back over to my dad and my wife and hopefully they can figure it out because sometimes they just have a tough time agreeing on things yeah that was cool too but this one ain't as good the uh, these are... nah okay out of these two what would you pick out of these two yeah this is that i'm gonna pick this one see that's what i'm saying <laughs> that's what i'm saying it, it gives it a little bit more spice you know like but... a little a little more flavor but it don't have the black right there to mess up the toe box, that part. So you're worried about this part right here? You it, feel like, because it'll- I prefer it'll... the black because you can mess it up. Uh, I would prefer, uh, okay. yeah, no, here's this. Since the black's not here, mm -hmm. this shoe looks better right now. If, if, if the case of, I will put the black on both back and front here. I wouldn't put that black. Now you're just designing a whole new shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Give me those. We gotta do the leggings. We gotta do the leggings. We gotta. Do we got a lot of shoes we gotta, here. We gotta do low tops. We gotta okay. do low tops. Okay. Okay. Period. This is the best one. So Period. this is the number this one. Is two. Y'all in the comments when y'all see this, tell me what you think. Hope you agree with me on this is number one. Nah. Everybody agrees on this is number four. Yeah. And you're going back and forth. I'm going back and forth on these. I would make that a two. You said this would be your one. Yeah. Wait. You said this is one. This is my one. I don't remember you saying that. I thought you said one, two. Nope. This would be my one. Oh, okay. Okay. So this, this one. This is oh that's right. Okay. So he this said is we agreed one. on two and four. No. Y'all both said brown was number two. Y'all both said reverse mocha was number four. And you guys were debating on what one These would be number one and yeah, one and three. We said the same on this one? Number two. Yeah, you guys both agreed that that was number two, and you both agreed that that was okay. number Okay, okay, so we're, we're, okay. So we got something in common. Yeah. Oh, who knows? It's not, it's not bad. <laughs> we got half of it together. So are we good? Yep, we yeah. good. We just know this is going to be number one. She agreed with Bye. me now. If she didn't change her way? No, this is number one. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four. All right, I'll settle with you. Okay. For her pick. It's still ain't mine. <laughs> All right, we can wrap it up. This is this is three. This is one. This is two. And that's four. Is that what we said? It's fine. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> So after all their shenanigans, you can see that they do have a couple in common and a couple that are different. And I think that's cool as well when it comes to being sneakerheads. Like I said, buy what you like, like what you like, understand that it's okay for other people to like different things. We don't need to be bashing each other because we like different shoes. The whole part of it is just expressing yourself through the colorways and the models and the designs that you like, whether it may be storytelling, collecting, outfits, you name it. It's just cool to see everybody come together and talk about sneakers. And I love making videos like this. So I'm going to give you guys my rankings from worst to best and then we'll get out of here and I'll let you guys drop comments down below and let me know how you guys will rank them as well. So starting at fourth place right here, we have the Reverse Mocha 
Travis Scott Air Jordan 1. I still like the shoe, don't get me wrong, it's not like I hate the sneaker, I love having it in my collection, but as I said, as I were to rank these in these four in particular, I think this one just comes in last place. I think they don't amount to the OG, I think they're not as good as the Travis Fragments, and I don't think they're as universal as the all black Travis's as well. I get it, yes, these are neutral colors, but at the same time, black literally goes with everything. So coming in at third place right here, we have the Travis Scott black phantom air jordan one low i think this is a very clean shoe it's very new it's fresh so i don't want to rank it too high but as of right now based on how i feel about the shoe the materials and everything i wish they would have did a little bit different on the materials with these two different patterns i know that some people like it and all that but i wish they kind of would have just did the top material throughout the entire upper or the the side material throughout the entire upper. either way i wish they would have did one not both we'll see how it looks over time but i think the shoe is clean so I'll put these at third. So at second place right here, we have the Travis Fragment Air Jordan 1 Low. This shoe is extremely clean. I was so happy I got these in my collection, all those different things. I love this shoe, these are fire. But one thing that I can say is, coming in at first place, the OG colorway, these set the tone. It's hard to beat the OG. I love darker sneakers, and with this being a darker model and having those, again, neutral vibes plus the dark look to it, it's kind of like a blend between the two when it comes to the third and fourth place shoe, all in one right here, giving me exactly what I need. So I'm still rocking with the OG as number one, and then we're gonna rock with the Fragment as number two. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys in another one and we got to do more videos like this. This was fun. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.